Intel has been in the CPU market for a very, really long time. And still to this day, they are one of the biggest chip manufacturers in the world. Last year's 13th gen Raptor Lake was a big success. And this year, they have even bigger plans for the upcoming 14th gen Meteor Lake. Besides, rumors suggest that we are likely to see the mobile chip of this version much earlier than the desktop ones. This primarily means 14th gen laptops could come out much faster than the processor itself. Looking for an animation studio that can turn your story or idea into animated visuals? Look no further than 10 Studio. Our team of experts creates animated explainer videos that simplify complex ideas and bring your message to life. Our experience can help you tell your story in a way that engages your target audience and makes them remember it. Don't miss out on this opportunity to stand out from your competition. Visit our website to know more at www.10.studio. According to Intel's roadmap in last year's investor meeting, they mentioned their latest Meteor Lake will be shipping in 2023, without specifying an exact time and date. But thanks to the YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead, we have a brief knowledge about the possible release time, which could go anywhere around Q2 or Q3 of 2023, and that is for laptop chips. And later in Q4 of 2023, there is a possibility we might actually get to see the full desktop chips. Although this information can change any time, judging from Intel's past events, his prediction actually does make sense. A few months back, Notebook Check wrote in their article, not everything from Intel's side is going according to plan, which ultimately led them to cancellation of the flagship 24-core and 22-core SKUs. Notebook Check also mentioned that the 14-core MTLS, which was initially meant to use as a desktop chip, will now be used as a mobile chip for 14th gen laptops. Last year in April, Anon Tech in their article mentioned that this 7 nanometer meteor lake would be made using extreme ultraviolet lithography rather than the current hybrid architecture. This information is briefly explained on a Twitter leak account named One Raichu. According to him, Intel is aiming to target performance per watt, boosting efficiency up to 50%. Well, if we look at the past history of Intel's chip pricing, they always managed to offer better performance, keeping the price range closer to its predecessor. Although the standalone version of the Meteor Lake is set to launch much later than the mobile chip, you could expect a similar price range as the 13th gen Raptor Lake or the 14th gen Meteor Lake. And the prices for the 14th gen laptops vary depending on various specifications and models. We will be back for more when there's more information available. So that was all about today's discussion on Intel 14th Gen laptops and chips. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment down below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.